All right, I am now live. Um, I'm a little early, so let's just give everybody um, a second to get in here. Oh man, it's raining outside. I absolutely love the rain. There we go. Turn that down so that doesn't interrupt. I have my little piece of paper with all my bulletin points. Uh, usually I do this live stream and I forget to do this and then I forget all these things I have in my head. But I've learned I don't have to write down in detail everything. If I just write down something to uh, jog my memory, then I'll click. Um, so, uh, two more minutes. Let's let people get in. I tagged a bunch of people. Been on here for a minute already. Um, again, I do these interactions so people can interact with me. Um, I get a lot of uh, viewers, but not a lot of interactions. If I could just get people to come on <laughs> their show. Um, I know how hard it is, man. I grew up uh, moving around, so making friends was very hard. Um, and then being... a adult and early in, in my 20s I had anxieties um, around people what to say what not to say um, work or getting a job was the worst man every time I went to work I just pinned in my stomach just not at all because I felt like I was just you know living to work and I don't want to do that that sounds horrible when I knew a lot of people do that but I just now recently in this past year figured out that it is even if that's what you do it is finding the positive I move my camera you can see my sexy shirt anyways it's finding the positive and um, the things you do 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 ha why there's a, there's a darkness <laughs> And I'm I'm goofy as fuck. Like that is me. I don't care. Anyways, it is now five o'clock. Um Let's wait a little bit. Nah, forget it. I'll get into this. So things I believe and things I do not believe. So this is a let's talk because the things I don't believe are a little more negative, but I'm um, mean I can always put a positive spin on almost anything almost anything um, So the one of the big things I believe in is love uh, true love um, I've listened to uh, men and Other people men and women talk to Johnny about love and about because he he likes right now he's um, a kid and he's in love with the with being love in love being in love with being in love um so he attaches onto every girlfriend he's got with like everything he's got sorry my cord was underneath the thing um and i'm listening to all these people say a couple of things one that that's what men do uh boys attach and um another on the other aspect is go live your life and um date as many people as you can before you die uh, so my, my take on this, I don't. I was never either or. Um, I didn't chase a bunch of females. I had one, uh, one profound relationship in high school, and I thought that was my person I was spending the rest of my life with. Um, I've only said I love you to two women outside of my family, that being uh, Chelsea and Tasha. Uh, and I've grown and I've learned that, uh, Natasha was more of the thought of being in love. Um, I, you know, I still cared for her deeply. It's just that a certain point in my life now, it's just like, okay, enough's enough. You know, if you're not going to willing to, uh, learn and grow with me, then peace. Um, Chelsea is a whole nother story. I truly, truly believe in my gut and in my heart that she is my soulmate. And I'm, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with 
I, I, it's more than okay. Um, I keep saying okay. Okay is just a bleh word. Um, it is a scar on my chest, in my heart, that I will probably wear until the day I die. I, I believe in there is a soulmate. Um, I do believe you can have relationships and make things work. However, I don't want to settle. Everybody I date, everybody I would date from here on, and if I'm wrong, I'll be wrong and I'll be happy to admit that I was fucking wrong. But as of right now, <laughs> everybody I date is going to be compared to my relationship with Chelsea. And no, it wasn't perfect. Nobody's fucking relationship is perfect. It was up there. We had people on our both of our friends list say how awesome and how inspiring our relationship was. Um, and so, yeah, I'm going to fight until the day I fucking die. Like, and I'm okay with that. I really don't need um, people to feel sorry for me or... I'm not depressed. My schoolwork, matter of fact, I just did some today, is on fucking point on graduating early because I tested out of some classes. Like, uh, so, uh, <laughs> my beliefs in high school were that of, um, if you watch the show One Tree Hill, it, um, Peyton and Lucas were my favorite couple in high school. They're my favorite couple watching that damn show. Now being an adult, Haley and Nathan are my favorite couple. Um, and I just so <laughs> in high school felt like that back and forth thing. Like that's what I was. I was destined to always be the the guy that was always in those weird relationships that you always see on television. But I was just fucking television. That's not how life works. Sometimes your feelings are wrong. <laughs> That I've come to understand a belief too. That sometimes my feelings, just because I have a strong opinion and a feeling about that, doesn't mean I'm right. I had a feeling that I would never um, be best friends with John. That it would never work. Stepfather and father relationship thing wouldn't work. And now I live with a man and he's family. He's my brother. Um, I was wrong and I will say I'm wrong with... You know, with all confidence, I was fucking wrong. My feelings were wrong. Uh, sometimes I'm wrong. I just have come to learn that your feelings sometimes aren't facts. And that we get them mixed up. Um, which you have to take... I believe that if you take a step back and look at stuff from a perspective, different perspective. Another thing I've learned over this past year. That you'll go, okay, this is how I feel about it, but this is not exactly how it is um destiny I do not believe in destiny a fixed destiny i don't believe it. you cannot tell me that i life is hindered by some other fucking power and now it's already mapped out get out of here with that um i can get up right now get in my gun put it bullet and put it in my fucking head if i want to because i have free will i believe that and that, this comes down to one of my other things I can cross off because I have it down there. I do believe in God. I do believe in Jesus Christ. I am Catholic, Roman Catholic, but that is for my mother because um, I love her and <laughs> she gave me life. Um, but some of the things I don't believe in religion, I take bits and parts of everywhere and I put them together. I do believe in, you know do believe in God. And I do believe Jesus died for our sins, for us to be forgiven and us to be free willed so no I, I don't believe in destiny i do believe in that fate hi whoever's in <laughs> we were talking about my beliefs um i do believe that fate will push things into your life but you have to um act on those things you have to open the door for those things um do I think it's a coincidence that Chelsea moved in next to me the day I moved in? No, I do not. But it was up to me and her to communicate with each other. Um, I could have just ignored it, moved on, and things wouldn't be the way they are. Um, it was up to me to keep chasing Tasha for four years. That was that was up to me. It wasn't destined to be a fucking idiot for four years. Um, no, that was up to me. It is up to me how I take things. It is up to me how I deal with them. It is up to me whether, you know, I get a job or I don't get a job. If I pursue school, I don't pursue school. There are many options. I do believe in the multiverse. I do believe that um, 
because you wake up and make choices. I have this thing written down and I can go all off script and all over the place or I can do bullet by bullet point. So no, I do not believe in destiny. Uh, do believe in karma. I do believe in the energy you get out is the energy you put back in. They've done many studies on how um, a person goes to work with a pissy attitude and it affects everybody around them. I do believe in positivity with karma. Um, and gave me some instances of karma. So my first, my first real girlfriend, um, this was before Tasha, I had saved up money. I was actually working. I saved up money, got her necklace. Um, she ended up cheating on me with my buddy. Huh. You know, my sister wanted to beat her ass. Every, you know, uh, Chris kept her from coming around. And I was just like, no, just let it go. Just let it go. Um, and then she ended up breaking her leg. <laughs> to me, that, that was karma. Um, you know, stuff like that. I, I truly believe in that stuff. I, I do, be <laughs> do believe um, because there are studies say we are energy. Positive and negative energy, we are. Um, and so you transfer that energy to people around you. So if you transfer positive energy to the people around you, they will be more likely positive. It's that old saying, if you want to be successful, surround yourself with successful people. Want to be smart? Surround yourself with smart people. If you want to fail and not do anything, surround yourself with negative people. And I believe that's, a, that's truth. I believe that's truth like a mother trucker. Yeah, I know. I swear, not swear. At the same time, it's weird. It's just my speech. Uh, so we get to zodiac signs. I, again, with the whole destiny, I do not believe in zodiac signs. I think they're fun to read. Um, I think your horoscope is told to you in the morning. So that way, you subconsciously pick up on things that uh, correlate with it during the day. And then at the end of the day, you're like, oh my god, they're right. But there's no way that every fucking Capricorn is like me. I'm not like Elvis. Elvis is Capricorn. I'm not like Elvis. I can't sing. I don't. I may share, well, fat belly with Elvis. But <laughs> other than that, and these sexy, the sexy good looks. But other than that, um, that's about it. You know, not everybody in the Capricorn. And I, I believe that people use that the zodiac signs as a big thing. To get away from doing stupid shit and not taking responsibility for it. Well, I'm easily hot-headed because I'm a Taurus. Like, mm, okay, you could be easily hot-headed, but you don't have to act on it. You can fix it. You can change the way you interact with things. You do not have to do it just because your zodiac sign says. And that one other thing that really gets me about zodiac signs. These are stars that depict shapes of these signs these were used by sailors as navigation first second off about half of these stars aren't alive anymore it just takes that long for the light to travel through space so what happens if like the Capricorn what happens if like five or six of those stars go out is it still Capricorn or is it something else? I'm just just saying. Just throwing that out there. Just throwing it out there. Um, speaking of things I hate and don't like. Hate is such a strong word. Um, hypocrites. I really... Oh, they drive me. That's my niche, man. That is my pet peeve. I really am tired of hypocrites. You say one thing, mean another thing. And it is all to protect yourself image. And it drives me... Absolutely out the wall. I could spend too much time talking about hypocrites. They just, ugh, not enough. <sighs> Spending that much negativity on something that's stupid. Like, if you're gonna do something, then do it. But don't. That just drives me nuts, man. Changing an argument fits your narrative. You say one thing, and then it means something else. Um, it just, oh, it just drives me. Nuts. I can't. No, I'm not doing it. Not being that negative on my video. No. Uh, okay, I do cry. Um, I know, shocker, oh my god. Um, uh, men, if you're watching this, get over it. We do cry. Doesn't make us bitches. Uh, things that make me cry. I cry over good things and bad things. Um, songs. Songs do it in a good and bad way. 
all the time. The song has love and emotion to it. I can feel it. Then I try to sing and I stutter. And uh, one of them that stands out is um, I'm pretty sure it's a country song. I loved her first. It is a song for yeah. Playing with my hand. Hold on. Get there. We go. Anyways, it's a song for his daughter. Um, he loved her first, and then eventually, you know, she meets a guy, and she falls in love with him. It's just a father's love for his daughter, and that gets me. Because when I sing it and hear it, I think about Ari, and eventually the poor, poor soul who falls in love with her. Because she is one strong person. Oh, God, she makes me so proud. It just, it just makes me tear up. The song makes me tear up. Um... Movies make me tear up. The end of the crow when he finally um, gets to move on, when the soul gets to rest, that makes me uh, tear up. Uh, episodes of One Tree Hill, I'm gonna admit it. The last episode of um, Smallville. Uh, the last episode of Supernatural that's coming. That's gonna make me cry like a little bitch. <laughs> um, the first time Sam and Dean died. That made me cry, but after a while, it's just repetitive now. Uh, Crowley. That made me die. Or made me die. Made me cry. Um, no, I did not cry when Spider-Man died. Um, it was an emotional moment, but in the back of my mind, I knew everybody who was snapped out of existence were coming back. Tony Stark dying. That made me cry. That was an emotional Um hearing Carrie Fisher's death that made me upset um not so much Luke's death because of Force go so that kind of takes away from that uh yeah it is a great series um watch oh man watch every episode two or three times <laughs> Um, so yeah, I'm not admit, I'm not afraid to admit that things make me emotional. It's fine. Uh, another thing that gets me is, since we're on this topic, um, uh, music. I listen to all sorts, uh, all sorts, all sorts of music, from rock music to rap to country, um, depending on what mood I'm in. Um stereotypes aren't true country's not all about breakups it it is when you're feeling down <laughs> um so i listen to country to feel when i'm feeling you know like love um i listen to rock music when i'm working out or i'm cleaning it kind of motivates me gets me i also use it to meditate yeah i know rock music to meditate um it's good because it gets out aggression um Try screaming sometimes. That helps. <sighs> and rap music when I'm just feeling it. When I'm just feeling me. When I'm feeling like, you know, I'm untouchable. Just, and want to have a good time. Or when I'm drinking. Um, another thing I love, and it's doing it right now, is rain. Oh man, I love to walk out in the rain and just chill. I started doing that, um a long time ago in high school because it just felt good just standing there looking up and just letting the rain just kind of like washing everything away um it just it's great uh the last thing i would like to touch touch talk about is empathy and sympathy um empathy i'm reading it oh, i'm blinding everybody now the ability to understand and share the feelings of another. Sympathy. Feelings of pity and sorrow for someone else's misfortune. Empathy is understanding what somebody is going through. Sympathy is feeling sympathetic towards their situation. Um, I think both are good to have. I do like empathy more. Oops, sorry about that. That was a little loud. Um, I try to understand how people are deal with things and how people look at their situation. It helps communication. Um, with this whole thing with the divorce and understanding how ch 
uh, Chelsea is dealing with things and how she just wants to be happy. Um, I empathize with that. I feel it. Um, on the other hand, I, I really don't want people to feel sympathetic to my situation. I'm not depressed. I'm not suicidal. I'm not pissed off. I just, I'm me. <laughs> um, and I think that if we empathize with other people, even if we don't agree with their situation or their points of view, if we empathize with that person, we start to understand them as a person. Um, we don't have to agree with their thoughts and feelings and they don't have to agree with ours just because you feel a certain way does not mean you're right or wrong it just means that's the way you feel um the greatest lesson i'll say this a hundred times that chelsea has ever taught me is things are not black and white most of the time things are gray and that's with everything um so i usually have a challenge is after these positive Tuesdays, let's talk. My challenge is empathize with one, just one person. Try to empathize with one person today. And that is my challenge for you. With that being said, much love. JD, out.